growing up, your parents probably, well, hopefully, told you that it's not polite to snoop. I'm not telling you they're wrong, but there is a time and place for it, especially in the online world. In this Cisco Tech Talk, we're going to create an IGMP snooping example for a Cisco Business CBS 250 or a 350 series switch. Next. First, some background. IGMP snooping is an important method that network switches use to identify multicast groups. These are groups of computers or devices that all get the same network traffic. It encourages switches to forward packets to the correct devices in the network. Let's look at our example. Here we have two CBS switches. We can see there's a top switch and a bottom switch. There are two VLANs for VLAN 1 and VLAN 999, and the latter will be used for the multicast. The top switch goes into the multicast core device, whatever we plan on using for our device. This is just a general term. Then, on the bottom switch, the VLAN 999 connects to the PC with the multicast software. To the left, we'll notice it also connects to the management network, which we won't have to worry about for this example. Now we'll configure the top switch. In the web interface, we'll want to go under the VLAN management tab and check our VLAN settings to see what's already set up. There, we'll see VLAN 1 and 999. Now, we'll navigate to the IPv4 Configuration tab, followed by Interface, and we'll see VLAN 1 and VLAN 999 created. Let's go back to the VLAN Management tab and navigate to Port VLAN Membership so we can see what our configuration looks like on the switch. We have a GE1 labeled in the diagram as a trunk. And for this example, we have GE5 through 7 as access with the multicast VLAN 999. This all depends on our current network and setup, but this is just an example. Now we'll dive into the multicast part of the switch. Under the multicast tab, select Properties and make sure that our bridge multicast filtering status are checked as Enable. Where the VLAN ID says 1, we'll click the drop down and select 999, as that's our multicast group. Don't forget to hit Apply in the top right to save our changes. Now let's hang out in the multicast tab for a bit longer. Under IGMP snooping, we'll see that there are two entries in our IGMP snooping table. Select entry two, the VLAN 999, and make sure to enable IGMP snooping status. Also, make sure to check the immediate leave box and the IGMP querier status. Click apply. An important note, Within a single VLAN, only one switch should be enabled as the IGMP snooping querier. And for our example, we used the top switch. Now, we'll move on to our bottom switch. We'll keep all of the VLAN settings the same. Looking through the port VLAN membership, we'll see it's the same as our top switch. The same goes for multicast properties, as those won't change. Now, under the multicast tab, select IPv4 Multicast Configuration and check IGMP Snooping. Here, we want to select Entry 2, 999. We're also going to uncheck the IGMP Querier status and click Apply. And that's it. Taking these steps can help increase our network speed. The more traffic that travels across a network, the less bandwidth or speed the network has. IGMP snooping conserves the bandwidth by cutting down on the amount of traffic that the switch is forward, giving you more bandwidth and more speed. See, now it doesn't feel so wrong to snoop. Thanks for watching this Cisco Tech Talk. We'll see you next time.